I'm Garrett Crandall. And I'm Danny Yarnell. Welcome to the Oiler News. The meeting for the reading competition for YSU has been moved to Thursday, January 27th. Please make every effort to attend, and if you can't make it, see Ms. Hardy. And congratulations to the boys' basketball team for a hard-fought victory, 65-55, to over the visiting Grove City Eagles. Attention YSU reading team, there will be a meeting after school on Monday, January 24th in room 24. Please make every effort to attend. Mm. There, will be a there will be softball open gyms on Wednesday at 7th Street School in the gym from 7 to 8.30. Attention seniors, please see Mr. LeVan in room 11 at any time to make a payment. There's still room for any senior still wanting to go on the New York City trip. All students wishing to attend the PFEW this summer need to see Miss Hardy for applications. Now let's take a break for the weather updates with Barrett Holcomb. Yeah, that's the cookie monster. Hi, I'm Barrett Holcomb with the weather. Today, Tuesday the 25th of January at 9 a.m., it will be snowing with a temperature of 29 degrees. And at 12 p.m., it will warm up with about 31 degrees. And at 3 p.m., it will get 1 degree warmer at 32 degrees. And at 6 p.m., it will be 29 degrees. At 9 p.m., it will be 27. That's your weather for today. Now to the five-day forecast. Wednesday, cloudy with a high of 30, with a 50% chance of humidity. Tuesday, snow showers with a high of 23 and a 30% chance of humidity. Friday, cloudy with a high of 27 and a 10% chance of humidity. And Saturday, snow showers with a high of 15 and a 50% chance of humidity. And our weather was source from weather.com. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Barrett. Uh, the third annual co-ed volleyball tournament will be held on February 19th. The cost is $50 per team. Sign-up sheets are located in the office and need to be returned to Coach Tiger or Becky Flockersy by February 5th. Attention all track and field athletes. There will be an indoor track meet on January 28th at Slippery Rock University. If you would like to compete, see Mr. Stymack by the end of the week. If you would like to practice indoors at Edinburgh University's new dome, see Mr. Snyder in the technology office. Do you have any unusual fears? If you do, talk to Daniel Eberly, and you can be featured in the phobia page for the yearbook. That looks scary. There is a blood drive being held on January 31st at Trinity Church in Oil City to benefit Van Miller Van Dyke's son, Val, graduated from OCHS in 1997. And uh, that wraps up the news. I'm Danny Arnell. I'm Garrett Crandall. Thank you very much.